Alright guys, Papa Pepper here once again with the Wild Man's Wild Friends. This one happens to be a cicada. Now there's actually, it's kind of a super family in the insect world. There's over 2,500 different species around the world. And you can find cicadas on every continent except Antarctica. So they're pretty common. I've seen a lot in my time on Steemit. I have also uh, even got to photograph one emerging. I'll uh, link some pictures and maybe uh, the post in this one. So these guys are really cool. They can have a, a high-pitched kind of vibration noise they make, which you can hear them singing up in the uh, treetops. And in the larva stage, they'll actually live underground for a very long time first. Some of them can actually live uh, 17 years underground before they hatch. You can see the leaves are very um, kind of see-through, papery thin. Um, they're tough, but they are see-through. And uh, a little noise going on in the background right now. But these guys are cool. We used to catch them up in Wisconsin, catch them down here too. They come in a variety of colors around the world, but they're going to be about the same general shape. They've got their eyes on each side. And on this side, they've got their mouth. And uh, they're not going to bite or sting you, but they actually can pierce your skin with that. Um, some people think that adult cicadas do not uh, eat anything. But they do. Um, they can drink sap from trees and stuff like that. Um, the little guys underground are really cool. Sometimes if you're rolling over rocks or logs, you can find them. They'll come up and they'll climb, kind of like a dragonfly nymph almost. And they'll perch on a tree like this, um, on a branch, on a trunk, something like that. And then the uh, this one will emerge from the back. Like I said, I'll show you guys some pictures of that. And then what you have left is the exoskeleton of the larva stage. That's a dry, kind of papery husk that's still attached there. They're really good at digging when they are young and then really good at flying when they get bigger. This one actually I snagged out of the air. I saw it sitting somewhere and I walked over to see what it was. It took off and it flew and it hit a stump and then it turned around and flew right back and I was able to you know, grab it right out of the air. So really cool creatures. One of my favorite insects and uh, I'm very glad to see them. Like I said I I grew up in bugs and kind of moved up from there, reptiles and amphibians, other animals, kind of whatever I encountered that was safe enough to interact with, um, I would. So, alright, one of my wild friends, the cicada. Alright, pop out. 